Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IES. So friends, as you know that uh, on our channel we are targeting the UPSC CSC and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our mains answer writing series. So as is clear from the name, so what we do in this series, we daily give you a certain number of questions of which you have to write the answers. So today is 15 July, so let's see what are the, uh, what are the questions of today. So the first question is, examine the role played by agriculture sector in greenhouse gas emissions. What challenges are posed by such release of greenhouse gases and how can these challenges be addressed by shif shifting to sustainable and resilient agriculture? So your word limit is 250 and the maximum marks are 15. So in this question you have to talk about the uh, contribution of agriculture sector in the greenhouse gases. So uh, and also you have to highlight that what challenges these greenhouse gases pose to uh, this uh, sustainable and resi uh, resilient agriculture as well as to society, uh, uh, nation as a general or for that matter earth has a uh, earth has a whole so second question is about your uh, bureaucracy so our bureaucracy needs to be in uh, reinvigorated but challenges are not elusive so you have to comment on this statement so here uh, the uh, 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 the the question is about uh, the need to re-energize the bureau uh, the whole uh, civil service setup so uh, but here the as as the question says the challenges are not elusive so here you have to comment upon the challenges that are there and also why there is a need to re-energize uh, re uh, this uh, our bureaucracy that is indian bureaucracy and your third question is india's labor laws demand serious revisit in every respect elaborate so you have to elaborate on it so labor laws uh, they are often seen in news so they are to, uh, uh, they are debated much and also uh, there is a kind of uh, 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 a viewpoint uh, that is prevailing that uh, ease of doing business can be improved by uh, by see, uh, looking revisiting at the indian labor uh, laws and also then there is uh, another thing uh, uh, which is uh, which is from the opposite perspective is that indian uh, labor laws that uh, doesn't uh, doesn't do much uh, don't do much uh, for uh, for the uh, workers or laborers that are in, uh, engaged in different sectors so you have to elaborate that how they uh, they need to be revisited so these are the three questions that are from your dynamic part and your fourth question is uh, uh, about uh, the e-governance so e-governance is making strides in india's governance mechanism highlight the challenges involved uh, it oh, sorry it faces and the po uh, and poses spe specifically in indian context so here you have to discuss about the uh, the strides that are being made in uh, e governance sector and what are the challenges that it poses specifically uh, uh, when when we see in the indian setup so the word limit is 250 and the maximum marks are 15 and your fifth question is what do you understand by citizens charter discuss its necessity and its progress in indian context so so here you have to talk about the citizens charter and its necessity and its uh, uh, how it has uh, how its uh, progress has been in Indian context. So the word limit is 250 and your maximum marks are 15. So these two questions are from your static topic. And your tomorrow's tar target is again the governance, important aspects of governance, transparency, accountability, e-governance, applications, model successes, limitations and potential citizen charters, transparency and accountability and institutional and other measures. So today also your uh, static target was uh, uh, this, this topic. So tomorrow also this uh, topic will be repeated and uh, uh, your uh, uh, as uh, for those students who are seeing our video for the first time let me explain to them that what this initiative is all about so friends in this initiative we give you daily five questions out of which three are your current oriented and two are based on your static topics so uh, uh, these two questions that are given to you from static part they are not that uh, we pick up any static topic and give you the questions we follow a detailed timetable that is a 99 days timetable in which what we uh, 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 what we have done we have allocated each day for a particular topic in a in a, com a complete uh, you can say a complete chain of uh, GS uh, of slavers from GS1 to GS4 so uh, 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 the target is told to you uh, told to you one day in advance and also those students who join us we send to them the timetable in advance so that they can uh, they they uh, they can be uh, kind of they must be aware uh, of the topic that uh, that will be covered uh, the next day or for ma that matter after week or in which month which topics uh, which paper will be covered 
so the, in this way this uh, initiative works so uh, in detail if you want to know then daily five questions as i have told to you uh, they are given to you and uh, uh, you have to write the answers of these questions and you have to send to us on a number that is 8968920720 you can also mail us at chivas21 at the rate gmail.com so friends the major issues of evaluation because there are a lot of pl platforms that provide you the questions but the evaluation is not done there or the evaluation is done by the persons who are in, uh, who, uh, who by the person who is himself or herself uh, uh, preparing for the exam so certainly a person who is uh, uh, himself preparing for the exam is not in a position to give you an expert opinion on your answers and that is what you need uh, when it comes to mains answer writing because your answers will be evaluated by the experts uh, in uh, 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 when 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 uh, when you will be writing your mains you, your answer sheets will be evaluated by the subject experts so that demands an expert feedback and that is not there in case uh, if you, if your answers are evaluated by students so that thing is that problem of you people is solved by us because here on our channel we will evaluate your answers and will provide you the feedback including the tips to improve your answer writing skills so not only your uh, questions uh, are evaluated reference sources are also provided to you for upgrading your knowledge of the topic in question so relating to each question we also send you the reference material the very next day on your whatsapp number mail telegram number the, uh, uh, or, or 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 via mode uh, by, by which you are comfortable so this is the these are the details so friends as we are putting in lot of effort so certainly there will be a fee structure for it and it is uh, 199 for uh, for one month and you can also join for two months at a cost of 3499 so this is the fee structure and also we have a, a fee structure for the complete uh, 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 99 days timetable so that you can also join uh, uh, that uh, that uh, that course for that is if you wish to join for a, a complete 99 days so in this way this initiative works so if in case you are interested you can join by using these links which are provided to you and these links will also be provided in the description box so using these links you can uh, join our uh, initiative so this is all about friends today's video if you like the questions if you like the video then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also if you have any doubts you can uh, contact us at 8968920720 you can also mail us at chivas21 at the rate gmail.com so uh, this is our mail and uh, you can also visit our website on which we daily upload articles that are of much relevance for CSC mains 2019. Uh, so if in case you are interested to read them and download them, then you can visit our website. So this is all about today's video. Thank you. Have a nice day ahead.